Ο μαθητευόμενο μάγο είναι η νέα ταινία τη Disney με πρωταγωνιστή τον Νίκολα Κέιτ που ανήκει στη λίστα των ακριβοπληρωμένων ηθοποιών. Ο Αλέξανδρο Ρωμανό Λιζάρδο τον συνάντησε στο Λο Άντζελε και μίλησαν για τον έρωτα, τη μαγεία και την Ελλάδα. Όταν ο μάγο Μέρλιν συνάντησε το χαρακτήρα του Μίκη Μάου στη φαντασία, τότε η δύναμη τη μυθοπλασία συνάντησε τη μαγεία τη Disney. Is love really a distraction or is it as magic? So it's a kind of coincidence. Uh, it depends upon if you're Isaac Newton working on your first thesis about the laws of gravity. Uh, and according to him, it would be a distraction and you would be embroiling yourself with Tesla girls. Tesla would agree with him. Yeah. Um, I would say, though, that uh, uh, in my experience, it is the, it is the uh, necessity is not the mother of invention. Love is. Well, your character is a very, very bad liar and that's very good for a magician. But is it also for an actor? I think so. I think it's weird. Like we kind of, we we part of what we do is lying for a living, but part of it more than the lying, I think, is the being truthful. And I think that the more kind of earnest you are, the 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 the, the worse of a liar you are, the, the the better of an actor you are. Picasso once said, "Art is a lie that tells the truth." Mickey's shoes and how was creating a character that it was the antipod of the character you played in Kikas? <laughs> well, for me, I mean, Balthazar Blake was something that I felt like I'd been preparing for my whole life, and uh, it just seemed like everything was in alignment at the right time, the right place, the right people, and it just sort of flowed. Um, it was sort of an homage to my father and my interest in, you know, Arthurian mythology, and so it all sort of gelled for me i was just scared man i was like 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 you said it like how did you know i was uh, um i've been saying i'm filling mickey's gloves mickey's big white gloves and uh, and it was just sort of like very few times in my career have i felt any sense of uh, um weight or gravity or, or any kind of obligation that i had to uh, fulfill with this character oh, Are you familiar with the Greek mythology? Oh yeah, no, I loved Greek mythology. It was my, one of my first loves. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, the, the Perseus, the Minotaur, uh, you know, Jason and the Argonauts, Hercules, Icarus. I mean, it's very important to me, and I, I love all of them. Mercury, Hermes, beautiful. I'm from a country that it has experienced one of the worst economical crises right now in Europe, from Greece. And uh, Nicolas, you have been to Greece, you have experienced our mentality. If you had the magical power to change it, what would you like to do? To, cha to change your country in some to way? change the economical crisis in general, but I just mentioned my country because yeah. I am from Greece and, and I know it the, the hard way. It's probably not the right guy to ask about <laughs> economical <laughs> crises. <laughs> <laughs> I say uh, just make everyone a bunch of souvlaki. Καθόλου παράξενο που ο Νίκολα Κέιτ δεν μπορεί να μα μιλήσει για την οικονομική κρίση, αν αναλογιστούμε ότι για κάθε ταινία βγάζει περίπου 20 εκατομμύρια δολάρια.